Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We commemorate today the memorial of St. John Youths, priest and missionary, who had a special devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Acknowledging our human weakness and seeking God's mercy and forgiveness, let us place ourselves before the mercy of God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, you who wonderfully chose the priest St. John Youths to proclaim the unfathomable riches of Christ and the kingdom, grant us by his example and teaching that growing in knowledge of you, we may live faithfully in the light of the gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord was laid on me, and he carried me away by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley, a valley full of bones. He made me walk up and down among them. There were vast quantities of these bones on the ground, the whole length of the valley, and they were quite dried up. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, You know, Lord. He said, Prophesy over these bones. Say, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord says this to these bones. I'm now going to make the breath enter you, and you will live. I shall put sinews on you. I shall make flesh grow on you. I shall cover you with skin and give you breath, and you will live, and you will learn that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been ordered. While I was prophesying, there was a noise, a sound of clattering, and the bones joined together. I looked and saw that they were covered with sinews. Flesh was growing on them, and skin was covering them, but there was no breath in them. He said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, say to the breath, the Lord says this, come from the four winds, breath, breathe on these dead, let them live. 
I prophesied as he had ordered me, and the breath entered them. They came to life again and stood up on their feet, a great and immense army. Then he said, Son of man, those bones are the whole house of Israel. They keep saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope has gone. We are as good as dead. So, prophesy. Say to them, The Lord says this, I am now going to open your graves. I mean to raise you from your graves, my people, and lead you back to the soil of Israel. And you will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves, and raise you from your graves, my people. And I shall put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I shall resettle you on your own soil, and you will know that I, the Lord, have said and done this. It is the Lord who speaks. Thanks. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let them say this, the Lord's redeemed, whom he redeemed from the hand of the foe, and gathered from far off lands, from east and west, north and south. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Some wandered in the desert, in the wilderness, finding no way to a city they could dwell in. Hungry they were, and thirsty, their soul was fainting within them. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress, and he led them along the right way to reach a city they could dwell in. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men, for he satisfies the thirsty soul, he fills the hungry with good things. Oh, oh give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for, for he is good, for his love has no end. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Teach me your path, my God. Make me walk in your truth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question, Master, which is the greatest commandment of the Lord? Jesus said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ.
the past days in the whole week we've been sitting with the whole experience of God the center of your life the word of God has enthroned in your life and the effects of that decisions and choices that one makes when God is the center of life you will find divisions you will find separations when you stand aside to hold on to what God is. And the consequences that we find is when you are no longer with God. You have found this in the readings the past days and today in a very symbolic way, in a prophetic image and language, Ezekiel gives this the valley of dry bones. It's a very beautiful story. And when you dwell deep into this whole experience of the valley of dry bones, you will realize what it is to be in a valley of death. Emptiness, dry, hopelessness, despair, loss. It's a whole experience of being in that whole experience. And Ezekiel is given this prophetic vision and words by God to address the people who are in this moment of despair. That God will restore it. God will give life. God will bring it anew. God will see to it that everything is back into its wholeness again. Everything changes. If only they would do one thing. Only one thing is required of them. Do you know what it is? It's on the first line of the prophetic words. God said to Ezekiel, Go and tell the people, tell the valley of the dry bones. Only one word he said. Can you remember that line? Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God and all things will change. And the same thing, the Pharisees to disconcert Jesus asked, what is it? And Jesus took the book of Deuteronomy, Shema Israel, the Lord God is one. You are to love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength and with all your soul. Shema Israel simply means hear the word of God. And it is simply about to love God with everything in your life. In every source of that being you live and to love your neighbor as yourself and upon these two words hinges the whole experience of the law and the prophets and the kingdom and life is yours sometimes it's good to look at the inner life of our spiritual life if we are in a dry moment sometimes the inner life can be very dry can be very empty can be in a state of despair, loss, hopelessness. But the Lord raises it to a new life, to the spirit that blows into it. If only we would hear the word of God. Let us ask the Lord the grace today as we draw closer to this week that God and God alone is enough for me. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the line and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of St. John Youths, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant us your forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. To your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, Father, with angels and saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppose ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina, John Paul II, and John Youths, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and grant us her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Lord, for that peace to one another. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is a servant whom the Lord finds watching. And when he comes, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property.
Let us pray. May partaking of the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase the strength from above in all of us who have celebrated the memorial of St. John Youths, that we may preserve in integrity of faith and walk in the path of salvation you have traced for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder tomorrow morning that Mass will not be at 6.45 a.m. We celebrate tomorrow the day of prayer for the sick. Chaplet will be at 9.30 a.m. followed by the Eucharist at 10 a.m. I invite you to join us as we pray for the sick and the weak tomorrow. There will be about 70 of members of the parish to be anointed. If you have anyone at home and you have anyone in mind, please do join us tomorrow for the celebration of the day of prayer for the sick. We remember them in our prayers. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the sinner. We stand, we stand before, before you, you, Holy Spirit, Spirit as we gather together, together in your name. name. With, with you, you alone to guide us, us. Make, make yourself at home in our hearts. hearts. Teach, Teach us the way we must go, go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.